What's going on you guys? As always, I appreciate you guys being back for another video. As you guys know, pretty exciting times here in Indiana. Coyote season came in about five or six days ago. So this afternoon or maybe tomorrow, I plan on checking zero on the nighttime rig and the daytime rig just to make sure zero is still in place and everything's good to go. But questions I've had in the past are uh, kind of a setup or what's in my uh, range bag. Wanted to take just a little bit of time here to go through that real quick, show you guys what range bag I'm using, and also the contents that's inside. And uh, let's just get right into it and see what's in here. As you guys see here, this probably right off the bat doesn't look like your typical range bag. Uh, looks more like a backpack, of course. What this is, is actually a uh, camera backpack and I've found that it's actually perfect for a range bag for me the main thing and the main reason that I like this bag and I'll show you guys here whenever we get to the inside is just how the layout of the components the items that I use are put in place I don't like a whole lot of different zippers uh, different pouches things like that I kind of like to open one compartment and have access to everything right there, which this bag allows. It's made by the company Low Pro. This is called their Pro Tactic 450 AW. The AW, of course, means all weather, so it is going to have a nice weather resistant uh, outer layer on it, so it's going to keep your contents dry and uh, weatherproof, of course. On the front here, you'll notice a bunch of different Molly webbing, so you can attach anything that you want that's Molly compatible. Uh, on the front, I just have, this is actually kind of nice because I use a tripod a lot. I, of course, use a tripod at night whenever I'm nighttime coyote hunting. And I also use a tripod, which I'm using right now to record my videos. So I can put my tripod leg, one leg or two legs right here. And then you'll notice right here, there is this nice system uh, molly strap that comes with the bag. And there's a, one, one more of these inside one of these pouches. but. Put the tripod legs right here, tripod will run up, and then I can secure it in place with this strap. And it's got a nice solid clasp there. Right here I'm just using a flashlight pouch and I've got a extra large Sharpie marker stuffed in there. Mark off my previous hits on target uh, with that marker. On the outside here I've got, I actually had this from way back when I was in the military, but this is for my iPro. Uh, keep my eye protection in here with a lens cloth That way it doesn't take up room inside my bag Got some different pockets here one of these on each side on this. I've just got some different markers um, Use these back whenever I shot f-class competitions. This is what we would mark uh, the previous hits uh, Typically don't use these anymore. I just use a sharpie, but I keep those in there Got some different markers and pins placed in there. This other pouch on this side is the exact same layout, but it's just one more of these uh, stuffed in there. That way I can throw it on there if I need to secure something else to the outside. And then over here is a water bottle pocket. Uh, just keep one of these core hydration bottles. Those are nice because they're not real crinkly and loud. Uh, stay pretty quiet. Or I use one of my insulated bottles and just throw in there. So pretty functional. Pretty nice um, outlay on the outside here with the Molly. And then we'll start getting into the main components of the bag. One thing real quick before we get on the inside and the upper compartment. So this, like I mentioned from the get go, this is made for uh, outfitting camera gear. But one thing this does have is a side access pouch. This is where your actual camera would go. So if you don't wanna get into the main compartment of the bag, you can just turn this to the side open this up and then right here you can get quick access to your camera now I don't use it this way anymore of course but you could set it up to where you could have pistols or handguns in here and I'll show you the the different various layouts that you can conform to however you want to use it on the inside this is just more flexibility for this bag so you could you know have quick access to ammo different handguns and SBR um, anything you want to put in there but just wanted to point that out for one added feature, like I said, I don't use it. I use it more as the rear uh, access panel. And I'll show you that here in just a second. But I want to show you the top real quick. Up here on top, 
kind of notice that this is a hard shell on top. This will be used to protect uh, any camera gear up top. But we'll turn this over, lay it on its back, and you can put anything that you just want a quick access to right here. And this, I just have my ear pro and then a rear rest, a shooting sock, and my staple gun. So we'll get that zip back up. And then up here, you got some room for some more storage. Just got a headlamp up here. Um, and here I've just got some extra batteries for some of my thermal stuff in this um, sunglass pouch. That's all I have in there for now. Sometimes I'll throw some pins or markers in there or some extra loose ammo if I need to. Get this zipped up real quick and I'm gonna flip this camera around and show you guys kind of an overhead view and we'll get this thing opened up. All right, we got the bag laying here on its back and the way to open this up, and once again, the main reason why I like this, because I don't like to get into many different zippers storage areas, etc. Uh, you'll notice this back, nice breathable panel here with some good ventilation. And also want to mention this does have the ability to add a waist belt, hip belt. So I don't use that, I don't have it on there right now, but if you really get this thing weighed down, put the waist belt on there and that will help out with the load bearing. And then it's got a handle down here at the bottom and it, of course the handle at the top. So you can throw this thing around however you need to. But we'll get into the main components here, and it's, you'll see the zipper up here meets at the top. Take it down on the back on each side, and it lays wide open just like this. And this right here makes it easy if I'm on my shooting mat or if I'm shooting off my tripod, I can carry the backpack out in the field with me, open it up one time, and just kind of keep it like this, and then just get access to anything and everything that I need right here. Going to go through real quick, just kind of show you guys what I keep in here, what I have access to and ready at all times. Once again, this is the same compartment that you can get to from the hard shell top right here. Uh, it's just that shooting sock, staple gun, and ear pro. Leave that all right there. We'll start on this side, just a light in case I'm shooting in dark conditions. Need to look around the backpack, got a light ready. This little bag right here, kind of ventilated bag, is just for any brass. Throw my brass in there and bring it back home with me because I do reload. It's got a shop towel. A couple boxes of ammo, shooting some 243. This has reloads in it. I just sometimes reuse these. It's easier to transport. But you can see all these, you can configure by Velcro however you want to. They all come apart and you can set up your own system however you need to. And this right here, you can take this out and this side access panel is right here. So you could have a sleeve right here to stuff some handguns in, um, quick access to ammo, whatever you guys want to do. And I'll make sure and link this bag down below so you guys can take a look at it if it's something you think that might suit you. This here, uh, these are handy. This is just a cheap, kind of a uh, clear plastic throw cloth, throw sheet, whatever you want to call it. Um, if it starts raining, you can throw this over your bag. If you need to lay down, you don't have your shooting mat and it's kind of wet, throw this down, lay on top of it. This right here is just a Hoppies uh, quick clean microfiber cloth. I like those. Puts a good layer of oil back on top of your gun. After you clean it, uh, right here, always carry a rangefinder with me. Have some extra batteries for that in that pouch that I showed you earlier. It's got a spare 9mm mag for the Glock, 6.5 Grendel mag, and I think this is, yeah, 6.5 Grendel, two cases down there, and some um, HST. Federal ammo for the 9 mil right there. Over here, just a quick little cleaning pouch. Hopefully you guys can see that with the glare on it. 
I've uh, got some CLP down here and some blue Loctite. Always carry that for my rings, uh, scope mount, scope base. Just a screwdriver with up here some more bits in it. Quick change the bits. Some additional ear pro if I'm on the range and somebody forgot theirs, they can use these. These, I've been using these for years, but um, these are Q-tip boxes. This, I still have Q-tips in. And then this, I just have some 30 cal patches. Whatever I'm shooting for the day, I'll throw different patches in there. I typically have some for 9 mil, 243. This here is an old glasses case, maybe sunglasses. I just have a little bit of everything in here. Uh, microfiber cloth, marker, um, some star head, Allen screws, or Allen wrenches I mean, dental pick for cleaning or extraction, regular Allen keys, various uh, star bit Allen wrenches. So a little bit of everything in this pouch. Uh, another dental pick. Just good to have kind of everything you would think is possible. Nothing more aggravating than getting to the range or getting outside and shooting, having to walk back or drive back to the house or to the truck or wherever you're at. Right here's just some more tools, small pliers, small snips, and then on the bottom of this is tweezers and really small screwdrivers. Right here is just some jags, some mops, uh, bore brushes, pipe cleaners. So everything you would need to clean a weapon on the range. Uh, moving down at the bottom, this is a first aid kit with some extra stuff. It's got some tape in it, uh, some ibuprofen, sunblock, a um, little bit of everything in that pouch right there. This here is an extra rear bag or front bag, wherever you want to use it. Um, handkerchief or a bandana. And then right here, I typically don't use these if I don't have to, uh, but this is the old brass, uh, just your cheap cleaning rod in case you need it on the range. I like one pieces, but those are just easy to keep on you and have in your bag. slide this over here this is the lid here don't have a whole lot going on in here in this pouch I have a Caldwell uh, wind reader this was mainly used whenever I would shoot f-class competitions thousand yards um, really want to dial in that wind uh, this is just a speed loader for a Glock mag up here is a would be a laptop sleeve if you guys can see that up here would be a laptop sleeve. Of course, I'm not taking a laptop to the range. In here is just um, some FFL paperwork for suppressors, uh, various targets, all kinds of different targets in here. And uh, my rifle data book. I like to keep track of, you know, load data, how things are shooting, keep a general idea on round count for barrel life, things like that. Keep that with me. And this here, I don't have much going on in this. You can throw more stuff in here. Got some different bits for screwdriver sets. You can see just all kinds of different ways to store things. Storage capacity. It's been a really good setup for me. Like I said, I just have a, like having access to everything, you know, all at once. Not having to dig through different pockets. I don't know, it's got to find what works best for you, what fits your style the best, and this seems to work the best for me. It's a little bit too big of a bag for, um, you know, everyday carry for using a camera. I usually just, whenever I do that, I usually just take one camera and an extra lens. So this works better for me as a range bag. 
built really well, really good straps, chest, sternum strap, of course. And like I said, you can throw the waist or hip belt on too to give you some additional support. There it is, guys. Uh, hopefully this gives you guys some ideas on range bags. If you guys have any questions, make sure and comment down below. I am going to link this down below in the description. You guys can take a look at it there, see if you want to buy it or not. And uh, stay tuned for some upcoming videos, getting into coyote season. I'm going to be doing some side in, um, checking zero, things like that. So starting to get real busy. Appreciate you guys being along as always. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you on the next one. Bye.